Hi everyone, welcome to a very Christmassy episode of Painting Lab. This is really going to be a quick update. First of all, to tell you about the ideas that I have for the channel in the coming year, which will involve your participation uh, as much as my ability to paint, draw and make content. And uh, also, I'd just like to thank you if you've decided to get on board with our experiment to try to change the way that we learn to draw and paint and feel creatively confident. Ready? So three months ago, I arrived in this phenomenal 400 year old Jacobean manor house. It is full of the kind of paintings and drawings and artwork which I've aspired as an artist to try to emulate myself. And I think it's fair to say the only reason I am here is the exciting, perhaps groundbreaking work that we've already been able to do. It's not tracing. You can see what you need to do on the paper, you can visualise it more on the paper. Yeah. It really helps to get the comparison between your, what you're drawing and your piece of paper, definitely. Yeah. That is phenomenal. And it's just a scarf. But I also realised that this kind of stuff in this kind of atmosphere can be very, very intimidating. So often the stuff around painting and the way that people talk about it, perhaps even the way that very skillful painters and teachers demonstrate it, can leave you feeling left in the dark. But here at Painting Lab, I want to find ways that we can become actively involved in painting together. It's amazing. Good. It's so good. Yeah, yeah. So over the coming year, we're going to try to take a deep dive into pure technique and leave the art out of it. Now, I might make myself sound like a bit of a philistine in that, but I think that a confidence about painting and about art in general, and perhaps even a creative confidence, begins with that technical understanding. And because of the comparative mirror, we have a way to share all of that at last. Already my mind has escalated into all the things that I could do. To teach that to every individual child to gain the confidence that I've gained in this hour, it's at the, at the scale of however many people have got this mirror because they're all seeing it in the same hour, in the same perspective, it's their own mini teacher. And now that we've released a free version of the Comparator Mirror, which you can get your hands on for no more than the cost of postage and packing by emailing us at this address, I can feel, and I know I'm in contact with, a small army of researchers now, viewers like yourself, who've decided to throw your lot in and um, try this new way to draw and paint. Important to say that the Comparator Mirror is just the key that opens the door. And really what we have to do now is walk through it together and explore the territory which lies beyond it. We're going to be using paintings from the collection in this house to take a deep dive together. So the first project I'm gonna tackle in this new situation is a copy of a painting by a chap called Theodore Russell or Russell, who was painting in around about 1680. This is one of a collection of portraits in the house and um, I've been given the generous permission of the Pennington Mellor Munter Charity Trust to release a high definition source image, which means that if you want to, when the next video comes out, you can get on board and uh, make your very own copy with me, with my video as your guide at the side, if you like. So with all the lovely emails and comments I've been getting from people, several questions do seem to keep coming up. One of them is about crowdfunding. 
and about whether or not I will eventually crowdfund the production of the Comparator Mirror Glimpse. This is the absolutely optimized mass production version of the Comparator Mirror. As things stand, I'm actually talking to two private investors about the mass production of the Glimpse and the launch of Painting Lab as a global brand. But I also have to say that the success we've had with the DIY Comparator Mirror Booster Kit, this is a little assembly of parts that allow you to build your own version of the Comparator Mirror hardware much, much more simply, has been so great. There is another possibility here that we could do everything ourselves with no more than your interest and support. And with that in mind, early in the new year, I'm gonna be releasing a small range of merchandise. This will be t-shirts and hoodies and perhaps painting smocks, maybe even brushes, which will be designed to give you the very best experience possible with the Comparator Mirror. Also, because our Comparator Mirror Booster Kits take care of the tricky stuff, they standardize it, we're going to show you Comparator Mirror's scratch built for different purposes, from easel painting to painting details into a much larger picture, to the kind of kit your average 12-year-old could assemble on the kitchen table on a rainy Saturday afternoon. I'll also, in the new year, be building up the kind of bedrock of this research by showing interviews with educational psychologists and other painters, and even an interview with Juan, the curator here, who knows more about the paintings in this house than anyone else. But I somehow internalized uh, this notion that I, was, I didn't have what was called a fine motricity. The proof of that pudding was that I couldn't even draw a circle. Well, I think that's about all I've got to say for today's quick episode of Painting Lab. And do you know what? With everything looking the way it does here at the house, why don't we just take a few minutes to drink in the atmosphere of this place together? And I'll see you back at the manor next year where we can really start to explore the techniques, the nuts and bolts of realistic drawing and painting using our comparative mirrors together. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. See you next time. <laughs>